Uh, oh, we didn't even talk about Tiago what? Almada's goal. Oh my fucking god. 35, 35 plus yards away, by the way. Right? Dude, that's how long yes. nuts. Miles outside. This hit and he this is like the second free kick goal, this is, right? This yeah, because he had one in the first week. <laughs> yeah. The comeback which is game. Very similar. I'm pretty sure yeah. that one also kissed the post. I, I yeah, want to like break it down a little bit because like yeah. goalies. I'm not an MLS goalie, okay? I'm not I'm not a pro pro professional athlete by any right. means. <laughs> However, in my yeah. limited experience in playing and coaching, you do not need that many people on the wall because you're going to blind yourself as a goalie. Yep. Yep. You're just going to you're not going to be able to see what's going on. And then to mention like Atlanta then added three more people to it, which is very smart on them. Goal yeah, like, still absolutely insane regardless of how many people are there. Yeah, the curve on it, the curl, everything the, about it. Oh yeah, the and those that angle behind him where you could mm -hmm. see the curl. Oh Fucking. insane so we didn't insane. we didn't leave this in the last episode but first let's just bring it up again okay. this man is gone in in the summer he's gone do you think he's gone I, yeah, so, okay. so, so we talked about this a little bit in the first one uh but yeah. we didn't bring it up i'll bring it back up uh it i think it depends on how well they're doing right because i feel like if he has it also depends on who wants him uh -huh. and where he go and i will i will give my a little bit of opinion okay um of where i think he might end up but um i feel like if they are top of the table he potentially mm -hmm. will stay, depending on, granted, who wants him, right? Yeah. Uh, because if he's there, he has the potential to get MVP, a cup, uh, or I guess a ring, whatever. Yeah, whatever the US does. <laughs> um, uh, not a medal or anything, but like a ring. Uh, he has the potential to have like an insane stat season. Um, yeah. As far as like titles and accolades and all sorts of things. Yeah. And granted, I know like to some people, MLS doesn't matter. Sure. But I feel like when you're 18, that's still insane. Doesn't matter what league you're in to get accolades like that. So, because yeah. he's got right now, he's got four goals and like four assists or something. Yeah, nutty. something like that. Yeah. Let me let me see the, right now. He's got yeah, he's got four goals and four assists in four games. Stupid. Which is stupid. Just for an 18, stupid. 18 year old, right? But he's here's 18? the thing. We yeah, I, I'm gonna say this though, because we talked about it. I, I was on the same page. Like I think depending on where they're at, he'll stay. Mm -hmm. But also the numbers that people are throwing out just like the guessing little numbers are so damn Wild. stupid that if you're 18 years old in a club for even if it's like doesn't matter pretend, <laughs> yeah Girona came it. after yeah. him and said hey we're gonna give you 50 mil come here a couple years i i i, I don't know if you'll he'll, he'll care mm -hmm. about the standings anymore it's just like like you said oh, it's yeah. gonna depend on what he wants mentally does, does he want to finish this you know little story arc here at the club or will he want to go progress yeah. into Europe or whatever? But I just think June is going to be very fun for Atlanta. Atlanta is going to be quite <laughs> empty, I think, yeah. in June. So where do you, so if he does, who do you think he would go to? Like who would who would offer him? Uh, um, yeah, I think there's a huge pool of young South American players going mm -hmm. to uh, the Premier League, but starting like almost like the Julian Alvarez. Thing where right. he's super young, played in Argentina, but and never had a like European start ever, Julian Alvarez. And then Manchester City got him, and now he's like this little backup player developing him. I think mm -hmm. a big club would love to have him on, or like a Newcastle or something like that, to not maybe not start him immediately, but you know, have him in the academy a little bit and then put him in a game and then see how he does. I think yeah. it could be from La Liga teams, you know, we're talking obviously Premier League teams. Uh, I think an awesome fit would be like a Brighton. They did this. Mm -hmm. Brighton's like famous for getting these kids that are up that uh, about to start their seasons and then sell them for a stupid amount of money. Um, I think it'd be cool to see them at some club in the Premier League, like a mid table, lower. I think. Table it, I think. It, I think it could. I, I so this is going to be a very hot take, and I don't okay. think this is going to happen. But uh -huh. it would potentially maybe make sense if he continues to have an absolutely insane monster season. There's a team that you can't see, so I'm not going to tell you who it is, but I'm wearing a hoodie for them right now. They're like kind of in like a, not like a rebuild. It's not a rebuild, but they don't have a lot of like young people. Rising and it's stars. a reason why they don't want a certain somebody who we've talked about to come to them. Uh, Almada has played with Messi, right? right. This, is a, this is a stretch, okay? This is oh, a real, a real big stretch, saying. okay? He's uh -huh. young enough to where they can mold him to however, however they want. Um, they need young people like this, but I do think that Barca could could potentially, maybe not like have him with them on their team, but like have someone like a deal 
or they like loan him out or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is the type of player maybe that they would look for. Not necessarily the skill level, but the fact that like he is this great over here already and he's he's going to be bought out at some point soon, very, very soon. They need this kind of young talent i mean they're doing great right now with by themselves when they just beat real like last week sure so yeah, yeah. um <clears throat> but i i do think like it could be something as crazy as that Ma- out, like maxed out obviously like, that's like the yeah. t- tip top of like the absolute nutter conspiracy yeah. theory of where i think almada could end up but i do think like a brighton like a very middle middle yeah. table i personally would like to see in that forest obviously of but i don't think that would ever happen because they've already brought in a lot of players around yeah his, they his did skill set uh this yeah. season so and i don't think newcastle either even though they did the same thing with right. uh miguel but uh yeah i think i think that's the route but uh whatever happens it's gonna make mls look good it's gonna get yeah. another more south americans going okay let me do this stepping stool yeah well because it's already been like the past couple of years it's already been doing that yeah i feel like it's becoming like a feeder league instead of like a retirement league which is such a great thing to hear Um, (laughs) yeah i would like it to be like a league Uh but i am i am way more happy about a feeder than i am in retirement 